Hello and welcome to today's video, another AI generated trading strategy. If you're new to trading and you don't know whole, the whole concept of technical analysis and the basic indicators, especially moving averages on top of those, I highly recommend to watch my previous videos, which you can find the link down in the description. That's probably for you and this video is not. But if you're already into trading, let's start right away. Standard old fashioned moving averages, they are working like GPS, helping us navigate through roads and streets and avenues while we're driving. But they only know uh, what happened in the past. They are like a rear view mirror of your car that tells you where you've been, but not necessarily where you're going to. Then we have AI, artificial intelligence, super smart friend of yours who can just predict the future for you, not only based on massive data gathered from the past market data, but have an eagle eye on the current movements and market shifts. That my friends is exactly what AI moving averages all are about. That's exactly like the GPS, which knows where the destination is from the previous data. But in the meantime, it also knows where the traffic is jammed and which is the fastest way which we can escape that traffic. So let's see how we can bring it up on the chart and what is it all about. And let's modify it the way that we want. Before just doing that, you can use it in any time frame, any market. So there you have it. It doesn't matter if you are a crypto enthusiast or, or you're into forex stocks any other type of marks which are tradable and you can find them find the pairs on trading view platform you can try it on for yourself and then you're gonna be surprised and say wow this is something so let's go to the indicators and I'm gonna simply search for machine learning optimization yeah we need this one by Zyerman thanks to this incredible trader slash programmer of course I'm gonna click on it let's go directly to the settings and see what is it all about yeah so this is the settings and I need in the input sections to change some fundamental things I'm going to show you how it works and show you the strategies based on this and come up with perfect mixtures so uh, what we need to do is going to uh, this section uh, machine settings here and from this section uh, I want to um, talk about something here you can change it to all data custom data what we really need to do is put it on all data because the more data that you have the more signals it's gonna give you and of course it's gonna be more accurate then what I need to do is uh, going to optimization goal here and what is it all about it says do you want me I think I'm the indicator so do you want me to uh, calculate the data due to performance performance or winning ratio or both of them so let's pause here and talk about this if you if you don't know what are these all about what is risk to reward ratio and what is the winning ratio and what is the position sizing don't worry previously I made completely dedicated sessions about those you can check them down in the description but let's get into it quickly performance here means it's giving you better risk to reward ratio and win rate is going to give you better win rates it means so lower risk to reward ratio but what we really need is a combination of both because we want to always to keep the balance so I'm going to keep it on combined and then uh, what I really need to do uh, make sure to activate machine learning just like that then moving to the second section before uh, changing these here I want to untick this one here find best MA combination we don't want that and next uh, what I want to do is going to moving averages and put it instead of SMA to hold and then uh, what I want to do you can change the color if you want it's up to you and then I'm gonna change this value from 200 to 100 so it's gonna show me all the intervals from 1 to 100 you can leave it just the way it is I, I don't like the color so I'm gonna change it to black to make it more visible on the chart so there you have it now let's start with the first strategy in strategy number one I need two more tools so let's bring them right on the chart before that you can see all the data generated from AI moving average here so the loading time is here by the seconds the stored data 
data is this much it is a combined system and it's uh, based on whole moving averages what i need to do is to uh, bring the other indicators on the chart so the other one is machine learning lorenzian yeah this one by j de Horty. so i'm gonna make it favorite bring it on the chart it's an ai based tool too so uh, it's gonna give us buy and sell trades opportunities so what i want to do is go to the setting and uh, i want to do some quick modifications i want to untick some elements here this one here the next thing i don't want the short kernel estimate here and uh, i'm good to go almost yeah show bar colors and show bar prediction values and then click ok that's it next indicator that i want to bring on the chart the last one is supply and demand visible range by looks algo this one make it favorite bring it on the chart and some quick modifications here too what i want to do is go to the settings and i'm gonna change the supply color to yellow and i'm gonna change the demand color to green supply and demand zones now let me me tell you something which is crazy believe it or not this is the closest thing i have ever seen in my entire career as a full-time trader price action and i can call it a no price action and it's ai generated price action because all the indicators all the other indicators mostly the classic ones or the mixture of them they're always telling you a little bit late i'm calling them uh, all delaying indicators because they must first read the price and then give you the entry points button but i'm now checking this with price action that i myself am using uh, on daily basis i see wow this is this is crazy good in in some circumstances even giving me some indications on the price sooner than i want to just trade the classic price action it's crazy it's crazy good now let's talk about how to trade and identify strong trend reversals it is good both for trending and range market so it doesn't matter if your market is trending like here or if it was a range market like here it doesn't matter at all it gives you the signals that you want but let's demonstrate a long position here and see how it works and the short positions are going to be uh, just the opposite so the first rule is the price must be rejected by the level of demand which is here let's say our, your support level if you don't know what are support and resistance levels on demand supply and demand zones don't worry completely dedicated session about those i made before check it down in the description make sure to watch that if you're not familiar with those or or your your mind you're busy minded with the data about that just check that video there is everything you needed about those but here and now we need that the price to be rejected let let me switch to five minute time frame to make it more noisy we need the price to be rejected by the demand zone at least twice so here it's more than twice it's a couple of times it was a ranging market perfect then the thing that i want is the machine learning must print a buy signal which i have a couple of them here and then the the third rule is that the price must be above the aima so let's check it out let's see the first signal yeah here it got rejected by the demand zone twice it was the first time here it is the second time or let's say you didn't see that that one so it is the first buy signal you don't pay attention to it uh, so the, the first touch of the price to the demand zone is the second one then we can see this signal here as you can see the entry point is not so much of different from here to here it's not big difference next rule is that the, you must pay close attention to the equilibrium zone which is this line in the between so when you're entering a trade the price the candle close shouldn't be at or above it which it isn't here so then you're good to go for the entry of the trade which is going to be here then where to put your stop loss your stop loss should be at the demands on the bottom of the demands but i highly recommend to put it slightly below it so that's going to be perfect then you must wait for the price to have a candle close below ma let's say the ai ma and then come out of the trade which happened here of course it happened here but here's a rule of thumb 
if you see that the, uh, there is a candle close and you you are not in the profit or it's just playing around so you have a stop loss don't close the uh, trade unless you want to lose this big movement and then you should have come out of the trade by a candle close below the ma which was this candle this baby here and let's see how much profit was that oh my god it is scalping because you are in five minutes time frame and you can you can just get a lot of those trades during day or days let's say so it was a 4.16 risk to reward ratio oh my god and the profit factor was 2.40 percent if you use only 10x leverage which you could do to the small risk which you had here if you don't know how to how to manage the risk and you don't have a proper risk management system you don't know how to uh, balance your risk to reward ratio with your winning ratio don't worry completely ded dedicated sessions about those i made previously go check them out it's in my module 3 playlist make sure to watch them but long story short if you only use 10x leverage in this trade only 10x leverage which you could even use up to 20x leverage in this trade which i was I, and i went with the 20x leverage but with the 10x leverage it was like 24 percent of profit which is crazy good crazy crazy good you know i'm dreaming of this kind of trade and it's giving me that the system is crazy good and it's giving me all these nice trades and the opposite is the same for the short trades so let's see if it worked out yeah so i wait let's say you know, i'm gonna vice versa all the rules again i must wait for the price to touch this supply zone or let's say resistance area twice which it did first time was here and then second one was here and then what i need to do is to wait for a short signal which happened here price is below the aima and it's not at or below the equilibrium zone so i'm gonna enter a short trade right at this candle which which is this one here put my stop loss at this level and then i wait for the price to go down and have again a candle close above the ma which was here and another 13 percent of profit which is oh my god how much money you want to make are, are you that greedy if it is me and i have two trades in a day like that in a row without any losses you know i'm gonna go out have some beers have fun partying around kill the day so as for the second strategy i'm gonna just uh, keep the ai moving average i go to the setting only thing i need to do is to change this moving average from hold to vwma you know the simple rule of moving averages is like for example i'm looking for a short trade right at this point uh, i wait for a strong candle close by a strong candle close i mean it shouldn't be a doji candle so it was here then i must wait a, for, for a pullback to it and then another confirmation signal which is this candle here so i can go short at this point but sometimes it can just manipulate you especially if the if the market is going sideways like this case here and it was lots of false signals so how can i do that and eliminate those i'm gonna bring another indicator on the chart which is breakout probability this one by zyreman I'm going to click on it, break it on the chart. And now it uh, it shows us levels on the chart and the chance that price reaches those in near future. And we look to terrain direction for target. For example, we had uh, the price went down and we had a break to the upside. It, it is the live market, five minutes time frame of Ethereum. And you can see the date. Just pause the video, it's down here. Then you can come back whenever you're going to watch this video. Video, you can come back and see if it works or not i don't know too so it's a challenge for both of us me and you watching this video so what it tells me it says okay let's go with the classic rule of moving averages price went above it i had a pullback now i have one strong candle close again above it so i can go long here put my stop loss on the previous string low which is here slightly below it let's consider this shadow here so i'm gonna put it here with to put target point the first target point could be here at this line which it touched it and the next target point is going to be here so you can just pause the video i'm gonna be showing you okay this is the price 1805.68 
let's wait for the price and you can come back later on check the date and see if if it hit the target or not and please don't forget to share your ideas if you can uh, just optimize these trading strategies coming up with a new way please share it with me with the small community that we have on youtube please share it down in the comments so we can get the benefits too what i'm here trying to do is to help you guys out so why don't you try to help me too i'm an open book just shoot i would really appreciate that i'm pretty sure that the others other traders would love that too did you like this video if you really like it please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel do it right away and by turning on the notification bell you're gonna be the first to be informed when i'm uploading a new video which i'm doing on a daily basis and please share my videos with your friends with your community whatever it is with those who really want to know all about this honor world of trading especially about cryptocurrencies thank you so much for watching see you in the next one